And I want to do a quick off script because we did, some of you know we did our, our, our inaugural Virtual Test and Measurement Expo last week. And we, right. we looked at some interesting technologies from Farrow Technologies and, um, and Starrett. Starrett uh, Kinemetric. Um, yeah. Now you did those demos. Now obviously you did them, you, you were tactically involved with doing the demos. Those at home, just kind of watch them, but they were, I think I can say they were beautiful demos. I yeah. think they look great. I think, it looked great. I think you got a really good perspective on what those, those machines do. Um, but now going forward, and just to kind of, you and I, just to think about this, and again, a little more inside baseball about our thought processes. I mean, do you think that, that a demo like that, again, you did it live here, People watched it live at home as, as it happened and they asked questions about it. Um, are there other ways we can do that? I mean, there are better ways we can do that and present those demos to people that would give them more information. Should they be shorter? Should they be longer? Should they be more in depth on certain things? Should they be, you know, what, well, what would you say some quality me, improvement we could do? Actually, to me, what actually, the best way to do them would be is if there was better interaction with the people who are watching me. See, I, ideally what I would like to see happen is, is a situation where it's more real time. Right. Where, you know, somebody, you know, emails us or chats with us and they say, hey, can you... Look at that again. Can yeah. you look at that again? Can you, rather than run through a demo and hope that we've covered the high, the, the high spots, is be able to almost as if the, the the audience was standing with us in the background, and somebody s could say, "Hey, I didn't quite catch that," or or you know, can 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 the camera look at the backside here? There was something I want to see. You know what I'm saying? Is yeah. where it's it's more like it would be if you were an actual trade show, and and we were actually talking there, and we could Sorry. actually I interact more real time yeah. with the presenter. To me, that would make it. To me, that would make it better. Yeah, because we want to do more of these. I mean, that, that's, more, that's yeah. really the takeaway here is yeah. that we're going to do more of these kind of shows well, going forward. And, and see, that, because that's the problem is is when you do these demos, even when they're live, by the time the questions come in, right. you, you got, know, the you, demos you over, that, yeah. you know, and there, there's such a lag, and I don't know how to get make that more instantaneous. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I think it's just human nature mm. is I'm watching this, and t ten minutes later I have a question, but sure. by now the demo's over, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I mean. Yeah, I mean, we're so. what we're trying to do is we're trying to really replicate an experience as best we can where people can, can have an experience of seeing new products, and they were all new technologies, right. almost all brand new technologies, and, and I mean, we want you to be able to experience those as best as you can. So, you know, I guess just write us. I mean, that's one other thing. We want to engage our audience yeah. in that. You know, if you, if you did watch our, our virtual test and measurement expo, you know, write us. Let us know what you thought of it at qdlqualitydigest.com, and we'll, uh, we'll try to improve our own process going forward on, on those shows. Yep. We're going to do more of those here in 2018. Yep.